Um, obviously this is a huge honour to receive an OBE but it gives me an opportunity to talk about the extraordinary people that I've met throughout this project having interviewed 112 survivors over the last 15 months or so and having the chance to record for the future their experiences in one of the darkest hours of humanity. And do you feel in a way that the honour then honours honours them and the work you've done? The honour is absolutely a chance for me to talk about their extraordinary sorry, can I do that again? The honour absolutely gives me a chance to talk about the extraordinary people that I've met. These survivors who endured one of the darkest moments in history and have been so brave coming forward to record their testimony to help people understand what we need to do, what lessons we need to learn from the past and how we need to change our behaviour going forward. And you made reference earlier to the challenging times that we face today and how do you think it's relevant to the work that you've done and what, what has that kind of brought into your mind about the challenges we face today? There were lots of key themes that came through the interviews with the survivors. I was struck by their ability to forgive and their key message was about tolerance of our neighbours. They have experienced the worst of humanity and yet they still continue to highlight the best.